Welcome to another Amiga game review, and this time it is the incredible Supercars 2. Came out in 1991. Gonna play through the medium level today for you and chuck the comm screens on, give you a whole heap of background on the game as well. Welcome to Supercars 2. Loved all these intro screens, beautiful splash screens, lovely graphics in there, and we'll talk about who did those as well as the coder and the designer and everyone else that was involved in this game back in the day. Supercars 2 came out in 1991. It's a top view racing game developed by Magnetic Fields, published by Gremlin Graphics for Amiga and Atari ST. It's a 2D top-down racer with back in the day silky smooth multi-directional scrolling and runs on both the OCS and ECS hardware. We're playing OCS today, the original is the best. Two discs back in the day and the medium and hard levels were the ones you needed to put disc two in. Now this was a sequel to the 1990 game Supercars, which was a, a real classic as well. But everything was better in this, including the two player mode. And there was a sequel, it came out on uh, PC back in uh, 1996, I believe, for MS-DOS. Again, Sean Southern was the designer and programmer for that one, just like he was for this one. All right, as I mentioned, we are going to play on medium today. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully I survive. I wanna put the comm screens on for you. I don't normally do that. And I always have fire to break. Recommend that you do the same. It's just much easier to control the car. Could be famous last words. I'll have to let you be the judge of that. Now, really good news for A500 Mini owners. This comes on the Mini. I mean, if you wanted a reason to go out and get yourself an A500 Mini, Supercars 2 is that reason. I would place it at number one in the Amiga games of all time, so uh, that's that's where I place it. It would be 97, 98, 99%? I don't know. I'm going to say at least 97. All right, so here we are into the action. So you can see I'm the red car. I'm battling all the grey cars for spots. And uh, if you don't finish in the top five, then your game is over. If your car gets destroyed, your game is over. You can see, oh, didn't take that turn well. You can see we've just got down there in that uh, area with a bit of information, the bottom of the screen. You can see my overall speed, current position there, fourth, so have to do better than that, or I won't have any money for goodies at the shop. How many laps are left and how much damage I've taken. If that bar goes down to nothing, you are toast and we don't want to be toast in supercars too we want to be the champion we want to get through medium and hopefully i can do that look it has been a little while but hopefully those skills will come back i have got through hard but it's really really tough i never finished hard back in the day legitimately i got a long way into it uh, but I, I think six or maybe the last track seven was the one that that got me but i could never sort of get past it but since been able to obviously save states in the age of emulation. Obviously I've gone back and finished it. Hard cheats though, be warned. Um, but medium is quite fair. You can certainly get taken out, but it's much fairer. Now I'm hopefully going to take this guy around this bend. Not smoothly. Really need to stop. Oh no! Front missile took me out. So first place is looking less likely for me now. I've got a bit of work to do. And I really need to go around these cars and not drive in the firing line either. So they're all the things that I know, but sometimes you forget. Uh, wow, that rear missile nearly took me out. So thanks very much for that. These uh, back markers can tend to really get in your way, but I've got first place back. That's first right on my tail and I got him. Well, I mean, I couldn't script more tension than that for you, but I also didn't drive that well, to be honest. Anyway, we got first place, so now we have the comm screen. So I'm not good at these, but let's see how we go. All right, um, I won't read out the questions verbatim for you. So let's see how we go, what does this sign mean? Now you obviously don't pick the silly ones or you get penalized. So I'm gonna say danger falling rocks. What does this sign mean? Uh, slippery. What's this sign mean? It's not obviously not cacti ahead. Uh, I'm going to say offset junction. If you're stuck behind a slow moving vehicle, what should you do? You're not going to blow it up with front missiles, are you? So I'm going to go honk your horn until it lets you pass because you wouldn't overtake immediately, would you? I mean, it would it be 
safe and do so. Well, I honestly don't know which of these answers is right. I mean, is that rude to honk your horn? Um, overtake immediately? I'm going to go honk your horn. Why did the chicken cross the road? I mean, I don't know. Let's let's go with the traditional, right? Uh, anything else? Force some vehicle on the motorway. What should you do? So that looks like the option. Can you read the number plate on my car outside through the window? Ah, oh, this is a trick question. Uh, well, I mean, I've got no idea what his number plate is. I imagine this is UK based. I don't even know what the format for UK plate is. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to have a guess at this one. Oh, what does this sign mean? Magic roundabout, I like it. Let's just go roundabout. What should you do if approaching level crossing when a train is due? Pray, don't worry, the train will be late. Dump the train. <laughs> I honestly don't think that's a good answer. Neither is that, so I'm going to say that. What is the speed limit for a car in a build-up area? I'm going to say that. Perfect, you've answered everything. I've received five bonus points. So these comm screens can reward you, but they can also punish you. And the questions aren't that easy. So anyway, we've got some extra points. And that means in the championship, things are going pretty well at the moment. All right, this is the damage screen where we do some repairs to our vehicle. Uh, I might do those too. I'll leave that one. I think I can get through with a bit of damage. Leave that till the next round. I always look for bargains on this screen. So straight away, uh, I can see that the, um, the bumper bars here, called Ram bars, they're a great price at 500 quid. So I'm gonna buy up on those. Uh, Australian dollars, thousand bucks. And uh, yeah, so pretty happy with that. Engines, yeah, not super cheap. Um, might just leave it at that, I think. Uh, now, uh, I might just quickly go through these mines. You drop these for you, and if you've got friends playing two-player mode, then uh, they won't be your friends for much longer after they leave the mine in a tunnel for you. Speaking from experience there. Armor for your vehicle, very handy to protect you from missiles. Ram. Get those cars out of your way, or if they ram you, uh, they might end up as toast. Love it. Engine. Yeah, do you want three? Probably not on medium. Two's enough. Maybe for hard you need the three. Uh, be careful. Too much speed means some of the jumps are impossible, so I, I tend to cruise around on two engines. Nitro, 400 quid, so uh, that lets you do jumps. Super missile, spin around your car and take out all and sundry. Homers will go and chase your adversaries on the track for you. Fantastic missile, but uh, not at that price. Rear missiles, pretty good buying at 230 quid. And front missiles are an absolute steal. Absolute steal at 100 quid. So I think we'll be buying a heap of these. In fact, I'm gonna sell my rear missiles for 170. And I'm buy up these front missiles because later on uh, I might just sell some of these at a profit and be able to buy more stuff for my vehicle so I would like armor because that obviously much needed to protect you from all those missiles and mines and other things scooting around but I'm just going to contain myself for now okay uh, as we prepare to quit the shop uh, a little bit more about the game while we're waiting for the next race um, there is an AGA remake of this using the 256 colour palette of Supercars International. Very, very nice, but I've stuck with the original OCS version for this review. 1991, as I said, Sean Southern, the legendary coder. We'll talk about some of his other games later. Uh, Andrew Morris did the graphics with Jeremy Smith. Barry Leach and Ian Howe did the music. And what great mod tunes they are as well. Oh, just dodged that landmine. So that's some of the credits as we come into... He's really tricky. And I'm just trying to sort of, I know it looks like I'm really dodgy um, taking those bends, but what I'm trying to do there is uh, I'm just trying to avoid those landmines because I'll leave them for you and they'll be very happy to do that. So I might line him up. Yep, so it's another mine. So I'm really chasing first now. First is a little bit happy on the landmines. So we might have to give first a little present when we get around this bend. And that present was well received. Shame I wasted one, but anyway, now it should be hopefully fairly smooth sailing. I've got those ram bars as well, so I'm happy to push and shove my way around. 
But I have no armour, so I don't want to run over missiles. So I normally would take this track a bit wider, so I'm not in the not in the path of those missiles. But the landmines are hard to avoid. These back markers, they can really trouble you. They can just fire rear missiles, leave those mines waiting for you. Um, I tend to sometimes let them put me off a little bit. I did. I'm guilty of letting that one put me off, I think. Now, let's continue to scoot through, not smoothly. I probably should be using my brake a little bit around some of these corners just to slow myself down instead of just hitting the wall and damaging my car. But normally if you, you don't actually need to brake with one engine on this one if you get your timing just right on your lefts and rights. Uh, I'm a little bit rusty, but so long as I can um, get enough points, I'm happy. So we've got the first spot. Uh, this is the overall, or the, the round leaderboard I should say, so for the second round I've got first place five points. I'm cruising, cruising in the current table at the moment in the overall championship on 15, but I did get that five bonus points. Now, let's have a look and see if we can get some more stuff. This is for extra cash, this would be good. Let's see how we go. Favourite TV program. Uh, let's go Top Gear. Well, you're not getting a single penny for this interview, goodbye. Well, at least I didn't get a penalty. Sometimes that's what you get a penalty. So it makes some more repairs. That's great. I don't need to do this one. Done quite fine as it is. You notice now engines are a lot cheaper. So is armor we're going to buy up. However, front missiles did not go up like I would have liked. In fact, I'm selling them at a loss. So that's sad. But these are such a good price that I want them. So I'll buy that engine. Buy that armor. Now, it's not good to have to sell some of these, but... I have to do it. I uh, have to do it because I just want to buy up on uh, some other things. Armor's a good price, engines are a good price, so that will do it. Actually, I probably didn't need to sell quite so many. Let's buy some of those back. A bit of a loss, but anyway. 26, keep it for the next round. Maybe they'll let me get some really cool stuff later on. Actually, supers are a good price at 350, and homers are really cheap as well. So if that's good buying, they'll certainly get you a long way. All right, let's uh, go out of the shop and get ready for the third track on medium level of Supercars 2. Now, I mentioned uh, Sean Southern, so he did the original Lotus and uh, the first Supercars on Amiga. He also did some 64 classics, including Kickstart, Trailblazer, and one of my favourite little old games a lot of people might not remember, The Hero of the Golden Talisman. Great little platformer. The guy looks very much like uh, the Impossible Mission um, character, but I think we can forgive Sean for that if there was any influence there. And uh, yeah, great game. All right, so these gates that you saw me just go through, not smoothly, uh, they're quite tricky. And if you go through them at the wrong time, they will just crush your car. And we don't want that, so I'm going to leave that gate. I'm going to wait for this one to open though. There we go. So we're doing okay so far. I probably should look at taking the jump, especially with no cars in front of me. So let's take that jump, that wasn't super smooth. That gate just closed, no point trying to go through it. That one's not opening yet, so I'm just gonna go straight. Uh, the AI in this is pretty good, they're, they're quite competitive. Uh, yeah, so it certainly makes the game a lot, a lot of fun when the AI um, is really quite good. I really should have taken that gate. So, as you can see, a little bit rusty, but I've got some time to make it up, so let's hope I can do that. I'm just going to wait for those cars to clear this jump so I can take it smoothly. And this gate should be about to open up, I reckon. Let's go through, let's go through. Uh, but you can see I'm still struggling, I'm still only in fourth spot, so I just fired a few missiles there to give me a bit of space. And uh, I regret nothing. regret nothing about using those missiles. So, those gates are your friend, but you've also got to be careful with them. Uh, I feel the jump's a little bit quicker, but if you get it wrong, it really has a high consequence. It's going to cost you, so this gate's about to open, surely. Oh, no! That was the end! Oh, I cost myself a place. What was I thinking? Anyway, nevertheless, I've still finished in the top five, so we're okay, and we're winning the overall championship on 18 points, so life is not all bad. Cars too, and yeah, fairly happy with how that how that went. Obviously, could have done a little bit better. 
Uh, engine's still a pretty good price. Now look at this, front missiles have gone up now. So I wish I had have hung on to the other ones now. Uh, but we're gonna sell some of these just to put a bit of money in the bank. Uh, I'll keep some, front missiles are very handy. As you saw, I blasted some foes, some competitors into the ether. So it's good to kind of keep some in reserve. Nothing else is well priced. Look at the price of homers and supers now. I mean, imagine the profit I could have made on these if I bought them for 350 quid last round. Uh, I would be selling now for 710, so a bit of a missed opportunity there, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing I need is another armor, and I've done well enough to just pay overs for the armor, so I'm going to do that. Uh, engine, don't really want another one. I'll be happy to just keep going through with, um, yeah, with two engines, I think, from here. I'm pretty confident I can still get through. They could be famous last words. All right, let's press on. On to the next track, race four. How was this game received back in the day? Pretty well, Amiga Action got it right, I think, 93%. CNVG and The One gave it 91%, so uh, fantastic stuff. And CU Amiga gave it 90%, so sizzlers all the way around in the old Zap64 speak. Uh, some other reviews there, Zero, 88%, Amiga Joker, 87 and Amiga Format, 88, uh, sorry, 86%. And uh, as you can see, I'm very good at multitasking, which is why I kind of was uh, busy going through the scores of the game and not focusing on my driving. <laughs> so that's okay. I am confident I can come back from my spot. So let's go do that. I noticed a little bit of a glitch there in the graphics. Not sure why. Uh, you'll notice that I got I copped a hit there, but I was still okay. Uh, that's the benefit of the armor, and that's why you want that armor. Don't get tangled up with cars here, because you'll push them, and they'll still get their places, and you won't. So he's going to get a missile for good trouble. And now I've just got to catch first, who's... Oh, no! So I got hit by third. I feel that was very unfair. But nevertheless, I've only got myself to blame. Now let's see if we can start crunching some of these cars down. So I took out him with... Oh, I nearly nearly got him if I had been able to t-bone him there I would have put myself in a better spot but nevertheless I have not given up I have not given up oh could have probably t-boned him again there so I might see if I can hit him with a missile around this bend he had the same idea for me oh just missed him I mean I must have only just missed him you can hear I'm using the brakes there and also hitting the wall and I didn't get that right either. So, yeah, look, I'm a little bit rusty, thankfully. Uh, they're not doing as well. Oh, there he is. That's first. Damn it. I need to get him. I think I'm out of front missiles too, so I'm going to have to get him legitimately without, without doing anything untoward. Although, as a friend who used to play this with me a lot in the two-player mode, the two-player car is beautiful pea green uh, we used to say rubbing is racing and it's so true uh, rubbing is racing in this now I am going to struggle to get first here especially now that I got tangled up that car but it looks like first got unstuck all I need to do is just finish the race and first is mine ah, ah, ah. so yeah we talked about the reception this game got so as I said it was great to see and happy with that we got first again Amiga Action 93%, that's closer to the mark I think, and yeah, C and VG, the one 91%, CU Amiga 90%. 23 points and cruising. Yeah, I feel that this was at least a sizzler, but I think it's more a gold medal, and 97%, surely. All right, now I think we can get a fine for this one, so we better be careful. Alleged offenses, okay. What do I have to say for myself? They forced a confession out of me. Okay, I'm gonna just go that. Uh, would you? Sure, I'll write a check. Uh, uh, well, we definitely don't want that. Uh, that might be more honest. I'm going to say yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, nice. Yes. Uh, have you got a police record? <laughs> Very nice. Tribute there to the police. Sting, very good. Uh, in fact, the whole question is a tribute to Sting. Uh, let's go that one. Uh, 
Excellent. Well, that's obviously not going to be it. That's not going to be it. I'm just going to go that. Oh, no. So I copped a fine of 2,000 pint pounds. That must have been the wrong answer. Oh, dear. So as I said, these screens can punish you. And, uh, well, I've probably made it a bit harder for myself now to, um, to get through the game. But nevertheless, onwards we shall go. Uh, Righto. What it, well, nothing's really cheap. Normally, I'd look for something that's... Uh, super cheap. I love the music at this point. I love how it just builds to a crescendo. Listen to that mod in the background there as it starts to whine and get louder and better and it's just fantastic. Ian Howe and Barry Leach they really did a great job with the music. Super stuff. Ah, oh, brings back really good memories for me. Hopefully um, it does for you as well if you played it back in the day. And if you didn't, are you in for a treat? Get yourself that A500 Mini and have yourself an absolute blast. Maybe buy a different controller though. I'm using a PS1 controller just because uh, they're really good uh, and very comfortable. So uh, the CD32 style controller is not the best, I'm just going to say. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing that appeals. There's, there's nothing great to buy. I mean, I might just buy another engine, maybe. Nah, let's just keep going. We'll just keep our money in the bank. Would have had 6,000, but down to 4,000. Uh, Lemon Amiga has this sitting at 8.43 from a total of 281 votes as I do this review. 81 in the top 100 Amiga games just behind Populous 2. So that's where it sits at the moment. Uh, I mean, these things are subjective, of course, and everyone enjoys what they enjoy. So uh, I, of course, would place it much higher in my top five Probably my number one. You'd have Damo Claire's uh, by Paul Wokes in there, of course. Oh, just dodged that missile and many others. But we'll talk about those on another day. Now, doing pretty well off to a good start. This course, it really pays to hit the brakes on. Otherwise, you can get thrown out of bounds quite easily. Uh, oh, I tried to get out of the way of that because you can let those go and they will go and take out your competitors with a bit of luck. So they really love the homing missiles on this track, the most deadly of all of the weapons in Supercars 2. Um, although the landmines are the ones that break up the friendships, can I say? Leaving landmines in tunnels for people? It's just not cool. It's not a cool thing to do. Yeah, all right, I've done it. And I've done it to many people in Supercars 2. Uh, and uh, I don't know, nothing really gives me more satisfaction in life than, than doing that. Let's let this pass, yep. And hopefully, I'm just going to get round first because first copped one of those missiles. This is what I'm hoping anyway, although first seems to be doing pretty well. And maybe I should have bought just one homer to uh, sort of clear things up for me. Yeah, look, there's a lot to really love about this game. There really is. I mean, it's it stood the test of time. I mean, it must be tough for these magazines back in the day to review things. Uh, you know, that, will you still be playing it in 20 years? Well, I don't think you can answer that when you first review a game and you, and you have, you know, obviously a, a monthly publication. So you've got to play lots of games in that month and get an impression of it. Uh, had people have known how good this was, I think it would have got higher marks all around. And there's really nothing else like it. I mean, sure, there's other good top-down uh, races like this that are multi-scrolling, but nothing in the same sort of league. Let's get out of the way. That can be our friend. And that took out first place for us. So now we are cruising. We still have first on our tail. I guess this is a point where you wouldn't mind the other engine, although you might be braking more. Oh no! I need to get him. Oh, tell you what, I'm jostling and, ah, only just. Okay, not a lot of room to spare. I just did that to make the video more interesting for you, really. Uh, either that or my skills are a bit rubbish. Anyway, we are cruising in the overall championship, 28 points. Uh, let's make some repairs. As you get into the later levels, you do want to do the repairs too. So uh, one day I might make a video on hard for you, but uh, I just encourage you to play this yourself and enjoy it, especially if you haven't played it before and you go, what was the Amiga all about? And there were just some amazing games on it. There really were, uh, and this, well, none more than this. All right, so I reckon front missiles, not bad. 140 quid, we're going to buy up on those. 
not so much as an investment now, but just because I like them. Uh, supers are pretty good too, so what I'm going to do is buy some of those as well. Actually, they're not a super price, but you know what? They start to become a little bit handy about this point in proceedings. Now, I've bought them, but I haven't assigned them to a control, so I need to do that. So you notice front missiles are assigned to front. I need to go and assign the supers. So I'm assigning that to rear, meaning when I pull back or hit the back function on my directional pad, uh, that will obviously fire the super missiles and pity help anyone in my path at that point. Okay, so race six. Uh, start to become a little bit tougher. We're on the final two tracks now to get through Supercars 2's medium level. Um, hopefully I can continue to do it. Certainly the car's in pretty good shape, but if you have a bad run of luck in Supercars 2, that can be the end of things. And and then you just can't, can't find your way through. So I'm gonna take the long route to start with. I might do the jumps a bit later. I tend to mix it up here. So, so we're in third at the moment. He's firing his super, so thankfully I was able to stay out of the way of that. Yep, I find that even though I know this is longer than the jump, I find that you can get tangled up with other cars. So that's why I'm being a little bit, a little bit cautious. But this car that's in second is probably going to take the jump. No, he's coming a long way with me. Fair enough. And I really didn't take that well. So first has kind of got away from me here, so I really need to rein that in. Uh, if I had a homing missile, that would be perfect. I could fire that off and know it would track. Oh dear! You know, I saw that, but sometimes with your armour, you just get a little bit confident. You think, well, I don't really need to worry about that, because I've got three armours, and that will be enough. So, costly. Now I am in fourth place, so this is not good. I might have to look at the jump to try to claw back a little bit of time. Uh, that might not be my friend, but let's do it. Now, that's not bad. We might take him out. Oh, gosh, I only just missed him. I don't think I need to. I think he's just a marker car. No! That was incredibly unlucky. I mean, that was unlucky on in every, in every regard, really, that that missile just happened to get me. Now, they just had to be dealt with because... I am struggling, pretty much because of some poor decision making. Uh, and I, I will admit, I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this track. I'm sort of just hovering in around the top five. There's not a great deal in it. Um, they're not really taking out each other. They all seem to be deciding it would just be best to take out me. So this has kind of made it a little bit difficult for me. And there you go, best I could do was a paltry fourth. Good enough to survive to the next track, but is that fantastic? Is that what I was hoping for? No, no, and no. Not only that, but I did a fair bit of damage. I mean, look at that. I've got nothing in the bank and I've repaired my car, but um, now I've got no money for goodies. Thankfully, I still have a nice stock of front missiles, so I'm gonna bring them into the next track. Hopefully they will continue to serve me well. And I'm happy with the two engines, which is good, because look at the price of the engine there. Uh, what else was like this? I suppose the original supercars was like this, uh, but not as good, no two-player mode, etc. Uh, I guess these sort of hark back from the championship sprint style games, Badlands, etc. Um, but these do everything right. Uh, I know there were other good games, the Micro Machine series weren't too bad, um, but there's just nothing that has, is as addictive as this. Now, the game becomes quite challenging here because we have the introduction of the trains. Trains are not your friend. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say in this game. They are not your friend. If you go near them, they will mow you down. I've just hit the brakes. And as you can see, those ahead of me did not fare well. So the trains cause a lot of damage to your vehicle as well. So it's not just slowing you down and, and costing you spots. Oh, and I didn't take that jump well enough. So I'm already starting to feel a bit of pressure here. And I got hit with a missile and there's another train coming and it's all happening. So let's just, let's just slow down, Dave. Let's just, uh, let's just calm down and uh, try to get through this. This is quite a difficult track. Uh, difficult because of those jumps, they're quite tight. Difficult because the trains are after you. You can take a lot of damage. Uh, and 
I mean, I've got nothing to lose by sparing missiles here, so I may as well go nuts. I've got first spot, but I need to hold it. Let that go. And one of the things I really like about this track is the fact that a lot of cars don't survive it. <laughs> so one of the really cool things that Sean Southern and the team, oh, train, did with this game was that just like you can be damaged and get destroyed, so can the other cars. So th th there comes a time where they just don't come back. And so I often find with this track that, oh, oh, you know, that was a time not to hit the brakes, but hit the brakes, I did nevertheless. So as you can see, I still have four laps to go and I've taken quite a bit of damage. So I'm gonna, and there's the train again. Uh, I'm gonna need to really be very, very careful because what I might find is I've got too much damage and it's game over. So I just need to calm my farm and even stop at the level crossing if need be because uh, other competitors aren't so much of an issue in this. So I'm literally gonna slow down there. You go into your train, buddy, go get your train. Uh, okay, he's just a back marker and he's a dead back marker now. I'm just going to calm down a little bit here because I want to finish this race. Uh, first place looks pretty secure now anyway. So I don't need to worry too much about that. And I've only got one lap to go as of now. So let's just slow down there. That's being super cautious. Thankfully that was just a short train. Uh, yeah, but this, this, oh, how bad was that? Again, just, you, you notice most of the other cars are gone now. So they are dead which is, is a really cool feature, and that one's dead just because because he was still there. All right, so now last lap, last lap, last lap. So you can see that I'm really damaged, but as I mentioned, have you noticed how the, mm, how the population of cars has thinned out? There's really very few of them left now. So uh, in fact, I'm almost done for damage, so I'm going to finish it, and we're going to have level 7 done, but I tell you what, it was touch and go with that damage. I was not impressive. But I wanted to show you all the medium level tracks, and I feel like we have managed to do that with the comm screens intact, 35. And I've conquered the medium level. Now win the hard level. So, I'll take that. And uh, brilliant, 35 points. I am pretty happy with that, should be the top of the leaderboard. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the fantastic Supercars 2, and go give it a, a, a try out, a turn, and see how far you can get. Go on the easy level, try the medium, work your way through to the hard. Have a lot of fun, it's 21 tracks of goodness in Supercars 2, and it is one of the best Amiga games ever. This is David Hearn Ryder signing out, and hopefully you've enjoyed this review. Bye for now.